Welcome to Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Let's Learn Railway Empire 2 together. We are working on our optional tasks, founding some cities, growing to 900,000 population, and just starting to get down into, San, into New Mexico, to Santa Fe and Albuquerque and Raton and Deming. And, and you can see here, we're at 85%, and a lot of our tasks are centered around Deming. So it's basically uh, what we have to do in the, in the required task all have to do with uh, going down to Deming, producing wooden planks in Deming, which will need a sawmill, delivering steel to Deming, and delivering chemicals. So let's just see, let's make sure we should have the chemical building available, and we do. Okay. Uh, some of this, in, in uh, this game's predecessor, you if you uh, made progress quickly on your task, but you didn't grow your cities enough, you could have a situation where I need to make chemicals and I can't make them because I don't have any cities big enough to even even allow that industry. So the, the industries open up as you get big enough cities to demand their products, right? Uh, but we, we don't have that problem. We've got a level six Topeka, a level five Kansas City and, and uh, Wichita. So uh, we don't have any of those kind of problems. All right, so let's see. We've set up our little um, central warehouse kind of deal here in North Texas. And it's looking pretty good. We've got Dallas double digit, our double tick growth, and Lubbock is growing. And we're about there on Abilene. And Amarillo is lagging behind. And I realized why that is. I do believe there's a priority here based on distance. And Amarillo is the farthest away from this, this setup. So it was kind of getting what was left over. And there's a certain amount of time it takes to get enough product in here to get it out to everybody. And I think uh, one of the reasons Dallas is growing at two ticks is that it is the closest, notice the 100 percents here, and beer's on the way. It's the closest to the warehouses of the already established cities. Lubbock is just behind it. And the settlements are kind of uh, lagging a little bit. Abilene is doing better because it's closer to everything. And Amarillo is lagging a little because it's farther away. So I, I think that's just sort of a simple logical explanation of what's going on. Now, there's several things we can do. Um, well, lots of things we can do. I think what I'd like to do, well, I want, I want that 900,000. I've decided that we're gonna hit that before we finish this. So I think what we'll, we'll, we'll do here is, hmm, we, we will either use the chemicals or the wooden planks as our governor to tell us when we're done. So we'll go ahead and get the steel going because there's no, re we've got Santa Fe here. We've got coal up here and iron up here, and that's what it needs to make steel and get it down to Deming. But Deming, of course, has to be a city first, right? So I think I'd like to ask, let me just see where we are. Have we made any lines down here at all? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, here's one. Oh yeah, that's this is this is just that line running out of Denver to give us that express status. Uh, so we really are starting from scratch here. I think what I'd like to do is maybe build a little super highway of track through here with dedicated passenger and freight lines. Raton, Santa Fe, Albuquerque, and Deming. And then, uh, there's lots of different models we could use. I think let's use closest to the material for warehouses. So let's set, let's just set up a model where we have, um, where we feed this stuff. Well, shoot, we could just feed it to our home. And feed this stuff to Santa Fe. 
and then feed this into Albuquerque and then have uh, warehouses in each and then make sure that we have freight lines that run between the various cities. So this will be like a four city cluster and we'll have uh, warehouses, like I said, closest win in wins and we'll go from there. Um, and, and the exception will be that for products needed for manufacture will run directly. So like uh, eventually we'll have a sawmill here. We'll have logs running Santa Fe. Actually, no, I think, I think we're just gonna go straight with the warehouse approach. Let's just do that, let's just do it. All right, so we've got this one piece of track coming down through here. I don't know if we're gonna keep using it. That would be a passenger line. So what would have happened if we said, this is a passenger line uh, yeah, I, I kind of goofed up here. One, one thing that's useful is turning your stations, having your stations have the same orientation. Uh, but it, it's it, no matter. I mean, you can, it doesn't, it's not a killer, but it, it makes it easier. If, if, if track one here was track, uh, track one here with the same you know, ability to move out this way. Um, but it does, like I said, it doesn't matter. Let's go, um, let's just plan on this line we already have being, whew, hmm, I'll tell you what, let's just see if we can't go crazy here. <laughs> Let's do, we got some money, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have the furthest this way is going to be freight. Uh, I'm going to build that. I'm going to... Actually, instead of talking through all this, I'm gonna build it and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I wanna show you um, uh, what I've done here in New Mexico, a kind of different approach, but also wanna see that down here in Abilene has now become a town. So we're going to offer that settler bonus, first of all, to make it grow faster. And speaking of bon bonuses, okay, we're, we're approaching 30,000 in Dallas, which uh, means we'll put an immigration office in there as soon as we can. Uh, Research-wise, what do we got that would be good? Sorry, it's the processing of all wagons. Move everything in and out of there faster. That would be great. Now, uh, we want to put a beer industry right here. And that would, that's gonna help everything because now we're gonna have beer down here close by. So we can do um, new production beer is gonna cost us 374. So let's let that run until we have 374. And we'll put a beer industry here in Abilene and kind of expand the city a little bit. There we go. So now, and that's just automatically hooks into uh, let's see now, does it? We have beer. Yeah, we should be storing beer here, are we not? In this model. Yes, okay. And actually, we don't even need to. Every, every city, every one of these in, there, in this network goes to Abilene. So we could actually, if we chose to, and we will, we don't, we don't even need that slot because everybody comes to this station. This is our goods transfer. So Dallas, Lubbock, and Amarillo all have trains that run here. And because it's one, for one thing, that's where they pick up their meat right now and they'll start picking up beer there. So we'll start seeing that grow. And we could leave that line from Dodge City. It doesn't hurt anything. Now, over here, what I've done is I built beautiful little super highway of track, six track going
going from Raton to Santa Fe, six more to Albuquerque, and six more to Deming. And what we, what we have here are the outside two on either side are for freight. And that reason being that you can come in from either side and put freight into your system and they'll run back and forth. And then the middle two are for dedicated passenger lines so we can have rapid moving fork nose going between all the cities and we just got a big old passenger line running that. Now the advantage to this is I only needed one station and I can move a ton of stuff, right? So, so you've got, for example, there's a warehouse in, and I also use the principle of put store stuff in the closest possible place. So Raton is, has a warehouse and in that warehouse it's storing grain, milk, and beer, okay? Now the grain and milk are obviously coming from over here, hooking into the freight line and running into that city. And then there's a freight uh, line that goes from Raton to Santa Fe, and another one that goes Raton to Albuquerque, and another one that goes Raton to Deming. I may not even have that one built yet. Let's just see. Uh, Raton, we don't, and uh, do we need it? Yes. Uh, let's build a line from here to here. Freight. And uh, out of track, and the beauty of it here, you can also just say which side do you want to want it to run on. Do you want to run, want to run on the outside, you know, this side too or this side? Let's run it off these and it'll automatically pick up that that side and run on that side. So this is this is very easy to manage. Okay. So Okay. So now we've got that. So Raton's gathering up the, and it's getting beer from up here. We've got two lines coming from Denver, a passenger one, which I left, and I didn't bother with extra track there. We just got the, the double track going from Denver through Camp Raton into Raton. And so there's a passenger line coming down here and a uh, freight line, which is bringing the beer. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to use this. So you go to Santa Fe and you have logs and sugar coming into a warehouse in Santa Fe and then make sure that you have we've already got the line going that way add one for this and add one for this and now all the items in Santa Fe can get out to the cities and in Albuquerque we have a warehouse that takes in corn right it's got it makes meat it takes in corn here's the ones you see for the rest of them. Corn comes to here and there's, there, we already have lines going here and here. And we just add one for Albuquerque to, to Deming. And now when the time comes, well, meat can get to Deming. And then when the time comes, corn can get there. All right, so looking pretty good, pretty good. So that's, that's how we're kind of building this area. And in this area uh, should be, should be pretty strong now. It should do just fine. So uh, we can start working on one of the dimming tasks. So one is to, to ship steel down there. We have a steel mill in Santa Fe. There's iron right here and there's coal right there. So what we can do is set up a line and let's just see how much we need to start with. Uh, the steel mill, it takes 0.7 coal per week and 1.4 iron ore to produce 1.4 steel. All right, so we can go um, up here to this coal. And here we're gonna to wanna to run it directly. It's, it's a nice idea to run, and this is a principle I used to have in, in uh, Railway Empire and I think it'll make its way back to Railway Empire 2 eventually when we kind of get through all these options and sort through things and decide what we like and don't like. But one of my little rules was if it's made in a, in a, uh, in a particular place, then go ahead and put in your um, um, sorry, put, put in your uh, lines directly 
from the raw material to the manufacturer. So we're going to run straight into uh, Santa Fe with this line. Oh, and, I, and, I'm, and we're going to run full coal trains and we're going to be freight bald one takes 18 days 18 days is is we only need 0.7 so that's just fine for that line now we've got ore here now we could try to run the ore in i think the best way to i think this is one where we'll make an exception and actually put it on this line this is a nice short line that runs in here if we take the iron ore if we go into our where into this and make this into a warehouse I'm gonna put repairs on it and make it a warehouse okay then what we can do is come up here and set up a station coming out of yeah let's get some money okay set up a station coming out of here and this is literally going to be falling off the mountain. <laughs> We're going to have track. You're going to make a controlled fall with a heavy load and run down here and come in on socket two, platform two. All right, now. Okay, you can see the slopes we're getting. You're just basically riding your brakes all the way down. And you're running empty back, so it shouldn't be that hard to get back up there. And that's 500,000. Can we maybe uh, get rid of you a little bit? Uh, not really. Let's just... Uh, Let's stick with that. Okay. A little better quarter. Instead of losing money, we made a fair amount, which was a significant increase over, over what we did last time. So we're in Q4 of 1870, 68, 69, 70. We're finishing our third year. And here we go. We got... Quarterly results 6.8 million, and we invested a ton of money in track, <laughs> super highways of track, and um, over a million in, in uh, locomotives and buildings and everything else and factories. And you can see our oh our our mail is our highest maker with mail passengers and freight. Remember we our character gets bonuses for mail and freight. And looking pretty good. Okay. Let's see. What's happening out here? I just saw a big... Okay, we're slowly getting uh, Amarillo. And it makes me suspicious. Since it has no meat, makes me wonder if I have that line I talked about that goes, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. All right, uh, we need a line from here to here. And he should pick up meat to go to Amarillo. And he picked up nothing, so there, oh, oh, oh. Because it's just started, there was there's no communication back here that we need meat for Amarillo. Now there will be, and we should see uh, trains coming out of um, out of here, heading over to Abilene with uh, meat for Amarillo. Sure enough, okay. 
So that'll get started. How are we down here? We've done any anything down here. Yeah, we've gotten our meat in. We haven't gotten the logs and stuff. It'll take it it'll take time to kind of filter it down there. Oh, got lots of money now. Okay. Uh, build that. Ah, I must be right over top of a... What, what in the world? Build. Build. Uh, um, oh, wait. Am I going through an Indian village? Uh, oh, I am. Well, build... Do you want to compensate? Yeah, yeah, we will We will relocate them. They're in our way. And we will double track this. And we'll go back up here and take off the end because we don't need two platforms coming out of there. And let's look at supplies. We'll put supplies... We might put two on this. This is just hills. You're going to go through sand like, like it's going out of style on that run. All right, let's go here and fall down to here. Uh, we need gridirons on this end. Okay. Here, fall down to here. Run full. Freight. Baldwin, go. Um, okay. The settings, it won't do anything, but that's okay, because all we have to do now is go to our warehouse and turn on iron. Tell our warehouse to start monitoring for iron business. And go. And there we go. It's up and running. So this line will take iron over here. We have got should have coal coming in. Don't know if he's made it. Yep, we've got some in there and more on the way. That's going to create steel. The steel, we should have a line. I'm going to build another track. We're going to go here to here with freight. And it's running out of this side, which is the shorter. Uh, what's our utilization look like? That's pretty good. We'll keep it there. That would be, I'm going to explicitly say track... Uh, uh, a ball one. Go. So he's got nothing right now, but that'll change. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got this one set up. How are we looking on our population. We're almost to 800,000. Chemicals. Where can we put a chemical plant? We just need one. <laughs> oh, look at, look, oh, well, well, speak of the devil. Dodge City here has volunteered to have a chemical plant. It has leveled up. It's at 40,000. We will put in a chemical plant in Dodge City. And that chemical plant is going to take coal, which is right over here, nice and handy. And we will run a line directly. Yes, into Dodge City. Uh, from this coal. Mm hmm. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, okay. 
Uh, let me change this a little bit. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. We're going ah, we're going to bypass this station anyway when we get to actually running this. So we'll just have it come into this free platform over here. Uh, make sure it picks up supplies. We'll put a tower here. Now, um, I want to do a run fall here. So I can, I got a couple of options. I think the easiest one would just be to uh, take another um, track like this. Let it merge in with this. Now this is one where if you were going to do this and you knew you would be running multiple trains, you wouldn't necessarily do it. What did I just do here? Ah, that's messed up. Sorry. I just wanted to run out of one. There's no reason to make this four when one will do. So we just want one line that, that joins in we know we're only going to run one train okay just needs enough track to be able to get out there and get on that line it's not connected anywhere else so what's going to happen here is we're going to have a line that goes from here runs full uh, that's not necessary yeah we'll, we'll do that just in case uh, in case something else could what's the case we build another industry here so so now we have uh, let's see now we have a messed up line and we're going to run from Dodge City to Deming down here and we could run it, I mean, you could run it to like this warehouse and let it go that way. But I want, I want to run it directly. And I'm going to make it an automatic. But it's going to always have a full load of chemicals leaving Dodge City and it can bring back whatever from Deming. Uh, let's get our... Directional signals, where are they messed up? Okay. I don't, oh, oh, oh. Right here at the very beginning, it's all that was to find this little spot right here. That's that's all it was. <laughs> and I don't think I committed the line, did I? No, there it is. Dodge City to Deming. Oh, oh, oh. Golly. I'm going to make it no trains. Then we'll edit the line. I'm going to tell it to run out of track three. What in the world? What is it doing? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's going it's going out here through Dodge City and back around like that through Denver. 
<laughs> but that's because I haven't built a little bypass here. So let's run a little bypass past this and connect it into that. And that's wrong, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. Run like this. Delete that piece there. Run this to the second track. And this like that. Okay, now let's look at that line again. That's better. And that's a 50 day, 50 day trip. That's a one, that's okay. Um, what are we making here in terms of chemicals? Uh, chemicals, we're making 0.8, so that's fine. That one train will do just fine. And we did tell it to run out of track three, didn't we? Now we did. And maybe if we put a train on it, it would do better. There we go. Finally. There's track three. Oh, because I made it automatic, it's taking passengers. Let's dump that one and try this one more time. Beautiful. Now, did we did we set up our delivery of uh, coal? I don't think so. No. So let's get coal going from here to here. Out of track two. There we go. Now we got it. So the coal will go over here. Uh, you know, you know what I think would have been a better way to do that. No, no, I take that back. No, this is fine. The other way to do that would be to have this train take coal over here and bring chemicals back and then run our train from here. Which, yes, that just makes more sense. It, it, that, this way it can carry stuff both directions and then this train can run from a shorter distance. It just makes sense. It costs you a warehouse. I mean, we've got to put a warehouse in here, but uh, if we put maintenance here and a warehouse here, and in that warehouse, we pick up chemicals, okay? So this guy will bring chemicals back, provided there's a line that goes from this station. We don't need this bypass anymore. If we just have a line that runs full coming out of here, If we set up a line from here, track, well, from here to dimming, and it can deadhead back, and it's carrying this, and it's full, and it's running out of track three, and it's a bald one. That's okay. He can't run yet. We've got him set up to run the chemicals down there as soon as Dimming is a city, right? And in this train here, all this crap we did with this um, Dodge to Dimming, 
we can delete that line because it just really does us no good. And, and adding all this junk did us no good. And now let's see if uh, here's our train taking the coal to Dodge. Now this first one, there's not going to be anything for him to take, but now as, as chemicals start being produced, which they are, his next load he'll take some over. As soon as we accumulate eight over here, we'll, our train will make the delivery down to Deming. Okay, good. That's much better. Uh, let's see. Are we getting there on Deming? Slowly. And we could go like this. That's okay. We know they need logs down there, so let's just put a train on it and have a train go in. Even if it'll go, we don't need all that extra track, so it'll just it'll just run in and. Uh, turn around in Santa Fe and head down to Deming with the logs. And we can give it another train if we want to. And how are we looking? Almost 800,000. So growth-wise, we're still growing Topeka. We're growing Cheyenne slowly. Oklahoma City and, oh, Dodge City's not growing right now. Why is that? It's not getting milk and veggies. Milk. Uh, let's run milk to um, We'll run milk to um, our central warehouse to Thomas Tank, Thomas Tank Engine, and we'll set up a separate line here. And I, I stood, I've been using one technique. Let's use a different technique. I think uh, let's build track. that can cross over, nah, we'll keep, I'm oh, sorry, we'll keep going with what I've been doing, I like it. We'll build little, little shunt lines like that. And we'll make the the one train we have here, have it go out of track one, oh, and run full. And then we'll set up a line here to Thomas, Thomas the tank engine out of track two running full. Uh, freight. 
Baldwin refrigerator car. I don't know if I built that. Hmm. I don't know if I confirmed that or not. Uh, I did. And there we go. Now we can get milk over there. And we've got opportunity for a business here in Oklahoma City. What do we need? They have textiles. Beer. I mean, we could do uh, like planks or um, what would be a logical thing. Kind of doesn't matter. Okay, Dallas, Dallas has hit 40, so let's put an immigration office in Dallas. Make it grow faster. You probably have too, haven't you? You've blown right through it. Uh, let's put an immigration office in Oklahoma City. How about you? Good grief. Let's put an, an immigration office in Dodge City. Okay, we're starting to get some growth in Santa Fe. Albuquerque's actually diminishing. Uh, huh. That's weird. There's a line here that's messed up. Um, the Santa Fe to Albuquerque. Well, if I see what's wrong with it. Uh, it wow, it's really messed up. Let's just get something wrong with that line. So let's run one from Santa Fe to Albuquerque. Oh, I see. I didn't have a. I, I bet I didn't have a train selected when I said it was messed up. I was messed up, of course. All right, let's run this and see if we can't get something going down there. You know, to start it may run empty, but it, but now that now that it's running, like this warehouse here, will realize that we need to get lumber for not just dimming, but for also for Albuquerque. And dimming is getting there, and we might do a temp solution here too. Go here to here. And haul some grain down there. We need to get that moving. Well, we could have purchased that that mill, which it has 14 to export. Why would it? Uh, I have a feeling we don't have it turned on in this warehouse. No, we do. And we have places that can take it. This is weird. And see, they're getting, getting it. So it's got to be going... Oh, I see. I see. It's a matter of critical mass here. Um, well, this city gets it. Uh, weird. Auction for... I don't want it. Uh, let's see. It's getting too... It's got some cloth. Now, do, do we have a line between Lubbock? I 
I see what's happening, I think. There. <laughs> now I wish I had purchased that business because it's, uh, it's going to be making money now. Okay, where are we? 829, we're getting there. So basically our timing is all about just making dimming into a city. And we are real close. A little bit of grain and it's done. Speaking of the devil, here comes some grain. Oh, one short, of course. Santa Fe's doubling up on growth. Albuquerque shrunk. You're holding us back, Albuquerque. What's going on? Uh, we're not getting grain. They should be. Oh, okay. well, it doesn't matter. We're about to settle Raton as well. And I'm just wondering if we have a line between Raton and Albuquerque. Let's start in Albuquerque. Okay. What's that little red tray right there? Santa Fe to Albuquerque. We need one grain to show up in, uh, what's this, a connection bonus for this grain right here. Okay, what did we finish? Okay, now we've founded five cities. Wonder what's the other one we did. Amarillo's not there yet. Raton's not there. It must be Dimming, is it? It is. It's Dimming. And Dimming would be a great place to have a cloth business. Um... Let's just make sure that they do. Uh, we'll grow them out that way. And we can run this. Maybe right there. Uh, 
And we'll let's go through that. Uh, I don't think. Nope. This is blocked out by the uh, scenario, I guess. So let's run up here and we'll have to kind of loop in to this side over here. up that I don't think the I think that's one fault it has when it's giving you those messages no wait did we not put we it absolutely should take um, we put in a cloth industry which needs wool we picked up does this pick up the wool it does this train should be uh, hauling wool to dimming. Why isn't it? I don't pay blackmail. And we caught the guy, good. There we go, now it's working. It took a second, that was a little little strange. All right, so what's going on up here? Are we getting anything done? Our, the steel industry is not working, but are we delivering anything? Because I do believe there should be a right here it's we're set we have a demand for steel wooden planks and chemicals down here and we should be uh, the steel mill here we go now the steel mill is producing are we seeing any chemicals zero are we producing any chemicals we are according to this we've made money i don't know how don't know how they make money when they're not shipping anything anywhere we've got nine ready to go our uh, train our coal train i think what we're going to have to do i don't i don't love this but we'll have to make it run with whatever you got because the problem now is it's it's waiting on another load this is tied up uh, that's the problem with trying to do double duty on these things you can get caught because what happened there was we had enough coal here it made its chemicals it's filled up it's not going to do any more it goes back here we don't need any more coal for the chemical plant so it just sits back there never makes its run to get the uh, chemicals so we're just going to have it run we'll take whatever you feel like taking and it should take chemicals back it should take a full load of chemicals back to the other station there we go I think given that I would rather run the um, delivery out of where it's being made let's go get something else here what can we get we can get the 121 or we can get residual value I don't care about sabotage <laughs> since we don't have any competition let's just get the 121 and if we look at it 
class 121 is it's an express tank it's 63 miles per hour 143 and the fork no is 65 140 is actually you know faster and more popular so we'll just stick with what we've got and we're almost to our 900,000. We finally delivered some steel down here. Uh, I think since we're so close to that, uh, we can go ahead and put in our, uh... oh shoot, 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 shoot. I put the wrong business here, bad choice. Well, uh, we, can, we can correct that mistake because what we really want down here is obviously a sawmill. And in the spirit of running directly, we're going to have a line that hooks in here. And goes like this. And goes from here to here. Ball one go it takes it a second well actually in this this line here and let's see there was there a train here yeah we'll We'll kill that and kill that. Okay. And where are we? We'll hit 900,000 soon, so we just need to get the chemicals and the wood planks and the steel done. And we should see steel. Oh, we got plenty to run. Let's do a line from here to here. Let's run it out of, uh, ah, shoot. Let's run it out of track one. Priority steel. Go. Okay, we finished, uh, I think we finished, once he gets out of the way, I think we, yeah, we did, we finished this. So we just got this to finish off, and I, th I think we'll be done. And I'm going to move them over to, I don't know, I'm not. How did this little dude do? Ah, finally, look at that. Amarillo is a city. Congratulations. I see a spot without a, without a supply depot. Dallas has put in clothing, so we'll turn on, uh, oh, we already have a clothing into that warehouse, so it'll automatically go over here and feed anybody who needs it. What happened here? Let's let that train run so we can get a connection bonus. OK, 
Okay, we finished our steel. We're making our planks. The chemicals haven't made it down here yet. Let's see what's wrong with that. Um, oh, they're on the way. This train here has got to be heading down there. Yep, he is. And I'm going to give him a buddy. And I'm going to set him to run up when uh, to go when he has six. And our chemical plant, we can bump it up one. Why not? Run it a little faster. Oh, you guys were right. Some Glenn and Nightwish both said, hey, you're missing some uh, supply towers. I guess I am. What line is this? Uh, we'll set it to zero. And then I'll set it to one, bring a new train in. There we go. And this guy here, he'll get supplies when he comes back out here. Yeah, you guys were right. I didn't, I wasn't sure. Oh, and up here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both Glenn and Nightwish said, hey, you're messing up your towers. And I was. And I'm going to fix that move one down here okay our planks are producing and we can have them produce faster uh, why not Oh, oh, we need more people here to do that. So it has to hit 20,000. We can give them a settler bonus to help them grow. Santa Fe can have an immigration office to help it grow. Albuquerque's now growing. We've established Boca Raton, and it has beer. That's perfect. Well, Lubbock has grown, and it has an industry slot. Um, what can we use down here? We could put... Why don't we could put planks down here? Why don't we put uh, sawmill in Lubbock, and then let's run a line directly from here to Lubbock. Give it a line like that. And run a line like this. Take, take uh, wood directly over to Lubbock. And where, how we doing? We've almost got our wooden planks. The chemicals are at zero, but I gotta think we've got them coming in. You would think. Uh, routes. And what's this? Oh, he'll get he'll get corrected next time he runs.
I think both of them are actually going now. Yeah. Uh, what did we finish? We finished this, the planks, and I think we actually have both two trains running, or do we? Um, we should have Ralph's using this dimming. There's one, and there's two. We got 14 headed down there. So as soon as they can make that down there, we're, we're finished off that task. Okay, this little design, obviously this worked. We got double, 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 right? Everything's working. But is it awesome? Eh, it's all right. It was all right. Let's give them a settler bonus, keep them growing. Lubbock could have a, an immigration office, keep it growing. This guy here, I'm going to replace him. So we have a healthy train running that line. And we still don't have any chemicals to dimming. That's a long trek, apparently. We should have some coming, I would think. There, that should have been one drop-off right there. Yes, we have eight, and we've got some more down, coming down. Actually, I had a math fail. I said run six, and so it's running two extras, but we should have the other train, this guy here, number two train, should be, yeah, there he is. He's just getting to Albuquerque. Now, why is he stopping here? Oh, he's being resupplied. He's actually underneath the... Um, well, he was underneath the uh, supply tower. <laughs> Ugly signals, aren't they? Uh, I miss the old signaling. I know they have to make trade-offs. I know people struggle with signaling, but I miss the old signaling. Okay, here we go. We're coming into the newly formed town of Deming. Here we are making our drop-offs. And there we go. Oh, we got new tasks. Whoa, we're not done. Oh, it's just telling us we finished two tasks. We are done, actually. We've 
created the second transcontinental railroad. Beautiful. Actually, the southern connection to it, I guess. Yeah. Despite the struggles, the mountains, and the inhospitable terrain, a second transcontinental rail link had been created. Where herds of buffalo had once grazed, fields of wheat now blew in the wind. The Santa Fe route had permanently changed the face of the landscape. The Wild West was about to be tamed. Two giants had once joined hands in Deming. But in the end, both were dissatisfied with the result. A separation was inevitable. The Santa Fe Company would reach Los Angeles in 1887, and the Southern Pacific also began to rededicate itself to the realization of its sunset route. Okay, we're all done. Shall we take our uh, medicine for for uh, playing uh, mediocre round? Well, actually it wasn't so bad, was it? 20 out of 23 out of 3, of course. 745,000 score. Took us three years and seven months. Let's see how we did. All right, now I had to reshoot this part because I'd given one person a nickname and it was his real name and I didn't think that was fair to put the real name out there if that isn't how that person wants to be seen. So I, <clears throat> I got rid of the nickname and, and came back. And now we can see our buddy Blah Razor's up here at second place. Very nice. And let's see where we are. We are at 15th place. Not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, I really thought that we could be, I wasn't even sure we would get CEO, to be honest with you. But that's pretty good. Let's see how our friends are doing. And this is why I changed that, uh, uh, redid this part. Um, so we got uh, Blah Razor up here. We've got uh, yours truly. JVP, nicely done. Matt. That's Roman Amor or Roman Amor. I'm not sure. Uh, good job. There's our buddy Garnet. And I have no idea how to say this name. But whoever you are, way to go. Morgan Seal's on here again and count 29. Let's see who else we got. Now, I think this is wrong. Because I'm trying to look at the rest of my friends and it's just showing me the same people. I think that's an opportunity they could improve. Because I think I uh, we have uh, a number of friends, I'm, I'm sure, who have also finished this. And I can't show your scores, unfortunately, in the video, because it just won't. <laughs> See, 19 through 27 is the same as 1 through 9. So 10 through 18, yeah, it just, it's not really advancing. It says it is, but it really isn't. Okay, so maybe they, maybe they could fix that for us. That would be nice. Anyway, we did all right. We did all right. Um, let's go back and see if we got any lessons learned. Well, millions, okay? I learned a ton playing this one. I hope you, hope you uh, learned something watching it. Uh, one person commented, my track looked like a mess. I don't agree at all, by the way. I just don't. I don't think there's any mess in there at all. A couple things could be a little cleaner. I think what he's referring to, and I, and I would agree with this, is, is all this, all these tracks. But there's a trade-off here. I could run a station just three stations and have, well, we could do this. We could do this design over here. And this design is, is, is very nice and worked beautifully. And we could look at it. We're getting double, di double tick growth over here on all of these. Uh, but what I like about this one is by having these, having the separate stations and having the lines, look at the money that this <laughs> makes. And why is it making so much? Well, one, of course, it's, it's connecting three large cities. So, of course, it's making a lot of money. But secondly, it's because we've got restaurant, post office, 
uh, maintenance and post office, restaurant post office. So you're getting bonuses every place you you stop, where right? really every place you originate or transfer, you're, we're getting bonuses. And that's just, that's tremendous. That's why I like the multiple setup. And now we could have potentially like taken the track and bumped it all together and made it look like a single, single thing. That would have been fine. But I like this. I like this. Okay. Bit of a hodgepodge here, maybe. Uh, but overall, really happy with this. This little design down here uh, would work great. I mean, look at this. We're getting uh, double tick everywhere except for Dallas, which is just underneath double tick. And it's kind of uh, what we would have to do here. Well, we just need to add some more stuff. Uh, we we um, it should be getting planks from over here soon. But we just simply need to add, I don't have any milk running in there. We run milk into the system in here. That would immediately take care of that. Veggies, run veggies into the system. So, you know, it's just a matter of maintaining it and growing it, right? So that worked out. This one worked out great. And this one worked out great. Look at this. We've got double, double tick growth all the way through. We founded two cities here with Deming and Raton. Found, founded two here with Abilene and Amarillo. And uh, used different techniques for each one of these three these three well each one of these four because we had another one actually each one of these five because we actually had this is a two city cluster with a little help from kansas city and this was one where we just dedicated growth to one we just shipped everything straight to denver and you can see denver's up to a level five so uh there's one two three four five different techniques to use and we never did really go back we could have finished this one off and and i think a, a nice one to do here would have been denver cheyenne rock springs establish rock springs as a city there's a lot of good stuff in here so we could easily have uh you know pick it pick pick a method right and implement it denver cheyenne rock springs that would have been great too so i tried to show you as many different ways to attack this as i i, I thought was reasonable and i think i think we pulled that off uh oh yeah oh and this one here i forgot this one uh this was a two city cluster with a little help from uh, wichita so that's kind of a different thing with a centralized pass through warehouse so we had we had all kinds of stuff going on here hope you enjoyed that i really like the this uh mission i think it's excellent it's got a lot of depth a lot of playability and you could go back i could go back right now if i wasn't making videos and replay this and come up with a different different tactic that i think would be really good so um, i think there's a ton of replayability uh, so hopefully you learned a lot and you'll come back and visit us for the next one i hope you enjoyed that i hope it'll help you become a better player i hope you'll like comment and subscribe and join us for more Railway Empire 2 videos. Thank you.